what's up guys, Lord Civic here, and today we're going to be playing some Destiny 2 on the ROG Swift PG32UCDM display. Um, <clears throat> I hopped in here a second just to make sure I wasn't on like the current like uh, expansion story mission or whatever because I wanted to showcase a strike or whatever. I haven't played this game since Witch Queen. Uh, to be honest, I think Lightfall is the current expansion right now. Uh, but before we hop in, let me show you a little bit of the menus. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, honestly, my Hunter can look a little bit better. I haven't really geared it out with its coolest looking stuff. Um, but we are going to see all the graphical settings before we hop in, obviously. So we're running the game at 4K. V-Sync is off. Frame rate cap set to 240. I don't think we'll even be getting more than that while we're actually in game. You see right here, we're getting like 240, but we're in the menu. Field of view, because this I'm gonna talk about in my early impressive video, I severely underestimated how big 32 inches is. Um, and having every single inch of field of view being able to see more is very important, especially with this display. Um, and to other saying everything at highest, I believe, uh, HDR on, render resolution at 100%. Pretty sure we could probably set it higher, but then again, uh, we already want to get as much frames as possible, so we're not going to. Um, so, okay, let me just say this right out of the gate. I played this game, or tried this game on my A95L, so I have played on a Quantum Dot OLED, and I've also played on my OLED G9. But uh, there is just something really special about being able to play a game like this at 4K at your desk with uh, quantum dot color accuracy and different stuff on a monitor. It is just insane to look at. And then being able to also use my mouse and keyboard. I mean, I could use my mouse and keyboard when I'm on my couch, but I, I kind of really like the feeling of sitting at my desk using a mouse and keyboard. That's just really freaking cool. established a base not far from here. It's possible they're already engaged with the hive, so expect a little chaos. This is our chance to kill two birds with one stone. Those are birds. Yeah, I, I didn't use my speeder yet, and my goodness. My goodness, this is gorgeous. And it's like, we're running at 165 frames, and this is like no DLSS or anything. We have reflex boost on, but... Ooh. 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 Okay. My bad, my bad, my bad. Okay. Okay. I forgot they like, I think they upped the difficulty across everything. Oh my goodness, what is damaging me? Okay, it looks like the FES is dropping to 117, but that looks like when there's a whole bunch of physics all over the screen. Sorry about all the pop-ups. I haven't done any of the... Uh I haven't played this season at all, so I'm getting like every achievement for everything. What the? Go up there, I guess not. Oh, it disappeared.
brought some serious weaponry with them. They must really hate the hive. Then again, how else should you feel after your home? This display is just magnificent, now man. Is not the time to psychoanalyze. Everything is just so well lit and accurate, and you know, honestly, I love the gamey uh, look of other monitors like the PG27 AQN that I had prior to this. You know, the IPS panel at HDR. It was really good. It served me well for what I had two years, I think. Um, but there's just something so amazing about a display that tries to get the colors as, you know, accurate to real life representation as possible, which this is what this monitor does. Um, I will say the A95L, is, which is a TV, is more accurate, but then again, it's a TV that's, you know, supposed to be showing live action content. This is like strictly a gaming monitor. So to see a gaming monitor even prioritize stuff like this is fantastic. And the A95L can only get up to 120 hertz. This can get up to 240, which is, well, I mean, it's with DSH, but still, regardless, still quite a impressive uh, task, I will say. Trying to use multiple exotics. But I don't think there's any like art to trigger the the proc of this exotic. This is one of my favorite things about Witch Queen. This exotic is so fun, even in PvP. I don't know if it's like strong or like meta, but I, I just love using it. your speeder here. Now's your moment, young wolf. Invite the enemy to meet their end. Oh, you can't get inside? Oh, shoot. supposed to do. 
I don't know. I haven't done this strike. All the enemies are out. Oh. Okay, now they're all dead. I think. Oh, okay. Is it bugged? I think it look Loki might be bugged. Yeah, I think it's bugged. Well, I mean, there was this thing, but did any of us trigger this? Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, okay, there it is. Fire, I guess. I'm gonna change my exotic again. Oh my goodness, I didn't even see that dude. Let's use the bad juju. I just love the sound of this gun. Like, this gun. Reminds me so, well, I mean, it was in Destiny 2, but like when I use this gun and I hear the sound, it's just Destiny 2. Ah, shoot, I, oh, I didn't see the ogre, but I was like so sure that I dodged before. Okay, let's kill him. Sweeps and decoding engrams would bring the same level of excitement. I would they brought the gritty into destiny? I didn't know that. Me precious. So anyway, there you guys have it. Some Destiny 2 gameplay on this absolutely gorgeous monitor. Should have showcased the sky earlier. You probably just saw it during gameplay or whatever. But uh yeah. As you can see, like, this game is just absolutely gorgeous. Like, I just love, oh, am I supposed to indoors? I don't know. Okay. So I just love how, like, the, you know, light blue here and then it subtly hues to, like, almost navy right there. But on the bottom of the screen, it's, like, black. And then the next activity, start activity, you know, the white, paper white, just looks absolutely beautiful in the contrast and different stuff like that. And you know, it's just it's just a really, really, really oh, you can see her vault from orbit. Wow, that's uh that's nice. Um there's a lot of different stuff that I did not know was in the game. Anyway, regardless, like always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't already, make sure to tune in to me on Twitch. And with saying that, I hope you guys have a great day.